Hello everyone and welcome back to WAW Bandai product and figures review. Today we're going to be looking again at more Bandai kits, specifically ones from the Gundam Unicorn series, which we will be looking at the Banshee from the Gundam Unicorn series for the RXO Unicorn Gundam Banshee 2 Destroyer Mode. And this is in its full psycho frame prototype um, form. But overall, this looks like a fairly good kit. The art box, the art on the box is outstanding. Again, this kit came out in 2011, around the same time as the the show itself. But let's kind of take a look at the box. Again, we are seeing a front and back version of the Banshee. Uh, kind of a cool art depiction right here uh, for like a, a battle scene and then we have over on this side the stats for the unit fortunately they are all in Japanese so fortunately we can't really read that but if we look on the other side of the box uh, we can see that um, it is fairly posable for this kind of kit so this is actually kind of interesting uh, for posability so this is actually really cool where it's uh, showing different details for the activation for its full cycle frame and also its unique uh, appendages and weaponry that it has so without further ado whoopsie let us dive into the uh, what most people just refer to as the Banshee. This is, again, the cover for the Banshee from Gundam Unicorn, uh, and this is the Destroyer Mode. So this is the, the main enemy unit, or the other Gundam unit that is in this series. Again, the art box is gorgeous, and as you can see, this is an, an original... Uh, 2011 Bandai release for this model because of the red logo so that's pretty cool and it also has a nice little watermark here uh, showcasing what the unit number for this kit was uh, but overall yeah it's a beautiful art cover so let us take a look on the inside of this and right off the bat, we got the instruction manual. So let's just set aside that box right there and take a look at the instruction manual for the Banshee. Again, this is a professional finish for the unit itself. Um, this is actually kind of cool. It does show various other units and mobile suits that you can actually get that go along with this series and yeah there's quite a few or this is giving you more of a history on the development of the Gundam Unicorn which that would be very interesting and cool to explore but overall this is another uh, page that shows us uh, unfortunately everything is in Japanese but it gives us a nice synopsis of the unit um, or the mobile suit uh, as it was being developed and um, show accuracy uh, or fe facts featured in the show overall we are still going with the standard um, section by section for assembly this looks like this is going to be more of the last section the instructions on here are fairly well uh, designed or really nicely laid out uh, again we have several part sheets here that tells us uh, what runners are what and luckily for us Bandai does a really good job of making sure 
most of the parts that are going to be made are colored. And so again, it's just a standard step-by-step uh, -step for working on the torso, the head units, the uh, blaster for its arm, and um, how its claw arm is too. So this, it has very unique weapons. Uh, out of most of all the Gundams that I've ever seen where it has more appendages weapons uh, and then again legs arms it's going to be kind of similar to like how the Gundam unicorn was built um, again we have a nice back art depiction for this and so far that is basically the entire instruction manual sheet for the Gundam unicorn here so let's take a look at the kit itself and take a look at all the parts. So we're starting off with runner A and yeah. So basically it's going to be more of a gray and black. So a lot of these are going to be more for nozzles, the joints, and for the shield. Again, we do have a, a portion for the head, which is a nice uh, golden kind of color. So that is the for the runner A here. Next up, we have the blaster again, another blaster. Uh, again, it is in two pieces with a spare clip and with the bla two different blaster nodes and we have a um, jet nozzles and we have the bottoms of the feet for this. Next, we have what is basically um, it's supposed to be like a golden, uh, yellowish golden color. So you could always change this color, but mostly this is going to be more of a gold. So... Um, it's really nice. It's a nicer yellowish gold color. And this is a lot of the internal uh, psycho frame activation. So this is where a lot of the uh, the cool effects that are like the glowing effects that come with this kit. So we have the shield, backpack, shoulders, front armor, legs, uh, chest unit and various other side armor pieces that have the psycho frame activation So yeah, that's pretty cool. I wish it was more of a gold gold color, but it is a nice uh, Orangey yellow, so that's really nice uh, if you're just wanting to do a nice cool straight build of the Gundam unicorn so moving on to the next and this is where we have more of the gold parts. And this is actually kind of interesting that we have more stickers here. Um, that's going to give us our eyes and various other um, panels and things like that. That for like vents for this unit. Again, we got more gold uh, or orangey yellow gold if you want to say, because I swear this is more gold color than these are. But this is actually fairly well done for the molding and coloration for these parts. Um, we have the uh, chest unit for the uh, around the, the neck guard. We have the iconic Gundam V, but this is very unique V. It's more pointy and everything that's like one of the big things with the Banshee is that it has a lot more points to its Gundam V and various other um, parts so yeah it's uh, that's fairly well and these are the the PVC uh, plastic joints so again a lot of the uh, main parts are this golden uh, yellow so why not have the PVC be more of a yellowish kind of color? All right. Moving on to the next set of runners on here. All 
All right, so this is where we have the top of the chest units, various arm units. Uh, we do actually have a standard Gundam hand. Uh, and then we have the uh, blaster, that it, the, the electron blaster that it has, and various other armor joint uh, pieces. And then we also have the uh, shoulder armor, which is a, a unique one. So that's for runner F. And now on to runner doo -doo -doo B. This is also, we have various pieces for the chest, uh, the lower uh, fuselage for the, the hip unit, the front and back armor, uh, the leg joints for a front and back, uh, and various other armor pieces. And this is also where we have the shield front and back which is more of a just a black kind of tint to it so it's the same kind of shield as the Gundam Unicorn but black we also have the a head which is comprised of two pieces which is the front and back so that is this runner and various other armor added pieces we also have um, four beam sabers and various other uh, armor and joints for the backpack and the uh, waist unit. And lastly, we have this last set of runners here. And with these, we have the uh, assembly for again more for the the shield side armor uh, legs um, uh, shoulder units more for the the hands and arms so again this is more for the shield and added armor and again it is a nice like almost a charcoal kind of black color I would still spray this like a matte black instead of this brownish blackish color uh, just to make it look more darker. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. And lastly, we have the very final runner. And this is a duplicate runner. So this is, again, the exact same as this runner here. So, again, these are going to be for arms, legs, shoulder joints. More of the, uh, what is, what most people refer to as, um like duplicate parts uh, well, or redundant parts for the the unit itself. So that was the Gundam Unicorn um, Banshee, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit, probably a little bit shorter, but again, I'm still working on several other model projects, so I probably kind of rushed this one a little bit. But again, uh, it's all thanks to you guys that helped me out with making these projects. There's going to be a model competition coming up shortly, so my videos may be a little bit shorter just because I'm trying to prioritize more time with working on some uh, Gundam dioramas and some model other models. So look forward to that for Okamakan. So we got about a week left, about a week or two left before that event. So I hope to um, see you guys uh, during my possible live stream when I'm at that convention uh, and featuring the models that are kind of up here. So if you look forward to that, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.